What comes to mind when I say science fiction? Probably Star Wars. Defining science fiction, the definition is up to interpretation. The official Oxford Google definition sucks. I don't know who decided that, but in my opinion, science fiction is fiction featuring fictional advanced technology. The essential question is why a story needs fictional technology. Well, if I didn't have fictional technology, then how could I have these crazy lasers and spaceships and planets? The most popular science fiction is of course just spectacle melodrama, pretty much like a traditional fantasy. But science fiction can also be a unique way to dive into personal, philosophical, or maybe psychological concepts. It can open up the boundaries of the real world so we can go further and ask more questions. The other day, I learned that they're making a Dune TV show. And Dune, man, I'd rather eat shit than have to watch a Dune TV show. Listen dude, I would say it's not my thing, but where's the character writing at? Huh? What is this? In the book, they have the unbounded point of views, but this is a movie, bro. Did Zack Snyder write this script? What turns me off about Dune the most is that it wants you to take it seriously, but to me, it's just unbearably corny. Not only in the dialogue, but the world, the universe. It's like a 13 year old's fan fiction. Right off the bat, the inception of Dune is this pseudo mature politics ass premise where they're fighting over spices, guys, because they're so valuable. And it's like, what are these factions? In Star Wars, you got the Empire, you know, it's fine. But here you have orcs. Orcs versus fucking dorks. Dude, the fucking Jedi Sith mind trick voice was so fucking painful, and they pitch it down too because it's so serious. It's not like Star Wars. The Sandwalk from the second film, it's so fucking goofy. <laughs> Both movies spend a lot of time locked in on the world building because that's what the story needs the audience to know. You're supposed to get invested in the science fiction universe war and there's really nothing else beyond that. The second one literally pulls off the science fiction real life culture metaphor that you learn in your NPC writing class. Oh my god guys, let's talk about culture and ethics. Paul meets a foreign tribe and while half of them think he's the messiah, the other half are not religious so they don't. Paul is not accustomed to this situation but eventually he is accustomed and then he becomes Cold Sigma. I am Paul Mwadim Atreides. To do Paul Atreides. He fucking 900 IQ outplays Lex Luthor with this crazy knife move. That's another thing, dude. They have guns, but for some reason they're obsessed with knives in this universe. Like, from the outside, I guess this is what makes Dune unique, but it's so fucking stupid and they don't even do it realistically. They instead take this Reddit martial arts approach to the fight scenes and it's like, why, why does this shit take itself so seriously? I'll be honest, it's kind of unfair. It feels like Dune was made just to go against everything I value in science fiction, where it's this original universe that demands my attention but does absolutely fucking nothing to draw me in. In fact, it's actually repelling. Even the base aesthetic, bro, deserts are so boring and bland to look at. The music, I, I don't like Egyptian type beats, bro. But listen, ignoring the repelling aspects of Dune, from a pure writing perspective, the problem is that Dune really has no purpose beyond the events of its own universe. A majority of the movies are just them explaining their own world. When you think about what makes Dune special, it's the desert, the, the knife fights, the sandworms, the fucking dragonfly helicopter shit, and the spice. But answer this, what makes Blade Runner special? Now again, it's just unfair. I actually do like the cyberpunk aesthetic. I like the flying cars. I like that they use guns and the music is not annoying to me. But Blade Runner isn't about its physical aspects. Replicants are cool guys, you know, they're used for slave labor and maybe fight wars. But what they do is not at all what Blade Runner is interested in. Its focus and purpose is the mind of a replicant. In Blade Runner 2049, it almost feels like the plot is happening in the background of the characters. There's a whole ass replicant rebellion, and if the Dune writers were in charge, they 100% would have based the movie around that. But instead, the movie tells a very personal story where it gets you invested in the character of K instead of the world around him. To learn more about Blade Runner's universe, you kind of have to watch these movies multiple times, at least in my experience. And it honestly doesn't bother me because it's infinitely more rewarding to peel back another layer off the heart of this rich, introspective story. Characters overplot every day! And that's my opinion, but I genuinely cannot see how it's skillful to blab about the plot to the audience. Blade Runner is a story that actually has something to say. As a science fiction, it takes its fictional technology of replicants to explore and dive into the deeper questions about our existence. 
Dune, unless you're 12 years old, is kind of just the new Star Wars. There's a reason it's a lot more successful. It's because most people don't want the boring philosophical bullshit. They just want to see bro riding on top of a worm. That's very, very cool, guys. It shows what type of writer you are when you hear the word science fiction. Do you think about the questions to be answered, or are you trying to make the next hit sci-fi universe? The latter is Reddit. Do I read science fiction? No. Because I don't want to be fictionized. I'm tired of being teased. Science fiction is just te it's a tease. Why read science fiction when I love sci-fi?